Rosecrans Vic Podcast. I'm Rosecrans Vic, and I'm right here with my boy, fresh out, Chito Ranas. Hey, hey, what's happening? My boy, he's out. Yeah, he's yeah, out. Yeah, thank God. They thank freed God. the frog. They finally freed me. Nigga. How you feeling, bro? Fuck, I'm fuck. Feel great, bro. Like life is fucking beautiful right now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, I I had one of your first interviews, um, the last time you got out and. No, you did have my first interview. Oh, the first, yeah, interview. Yeah, first it, interview. I feel like uh, you have a way different energy this time as opposed to last time. Talk, talk to me about how like how different you feel right now. I feel just like great right now. You feel me? Like I feel healthy. I feel like I came back healthy. You feel me? I came back feeling great. I came back feeling like I came back feeling like like I'm ready. You feel me? Like. Like, I see what I could do type of shit. You yeah. Know what I mean, like, bro, I just feel unstoppable right now. Yeah. You know? That's it's like, I feel like, like, if I would have, if I would have never went to jail, I would have took over the world right now type shit. But I wasn't ready, though. I wasn't ready because yeah. I was fucking, like, going crazy. Yeah. You know, like, shit, bro, you've been gone for so long. You just give me that little taste of freedom. It's like I ran with it. Yeah. You know? And it was also like a big adjustment, you know, yeah, and you, you got right to work. You didn't really take no time off. I remember Soul telling you, like, yo, bro, you should take some time off, you know, and you're like, no, I just want to work. Yeah, I, I just want to be in the studio. I was sick, too. I was sick, bro. Yeah. I was like throwing up blood. I was like yeah. bad. It I was, was still in the studio. It was, it was a lot, I remember. Yeah. And, and uh, ordering your favorite, Pizza Hut. Fucking love pizza. I love pizza. <laughs> if Cheetos in the studio, just know that there's pizza Everybody's around. Everybody's eating pizza that day. Yes. Give a fuck. Huh, Zach? Everybody eating pizza, huh, brother? And Cheetos, Cheetos one of those people that is not stingy at all. So he'll literally knock on the door in, in the studio. If you're in the next studio or whatever, hey, bro, there's pizza next door. Hell Go yeah. get some. Bro, how many pizzas we be buying? We buying like five, six pizzas, bro. Extra large <laughs> if we can. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. You yeah, know, of course I'm gonna ask everybody. My mama always told me don't ever be stingy with food. You yeah, know? but it's just like 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 this is my family. You feel me? I yeah. love these niggas. Like I love them. You feel me? Like like yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Was was Pizza Hut the food you missed the most while you were locked up, or what was Not it? Not Pizza Hut. It's just like when I came home, uh, Zay ordered this type of pizza. I don't know where from. Where was it from? Is that? Where's that pizza from? Yeah. Somewhere mm. around the studio. Yeah. It, it, that shit is so fucking bomb, though. You feel me? So I always order. What is it? Yeah. But I'll be ordering hella pizzas and shit, and then I'll just be eating, you know? Yeah. But then, like, back then, it's like, like, like I wasn't really, like, you know, like, since I was always getting high and shit, so I was, like, I'll be taking a little bites and I just walk away. Yeah. You know, but now I'm eating everything. Uh, first few days I was eating everything. <laughs> what? I didn't give a fuck. Yeah. I swear to God. You look you look healthier, mm -hmm. you know, you, you look bigger, you look back to normal kinda. Yeah, I was like, working out in there this time. Like this time I was working out every single day, you feel me? So I, like I wanted to see the 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 fucking what's it called? The results. Yeah. You know? What what was your, your program? What was your routine? I wake I wake up late, I ain't gonna lie, like I wake up like <laughs> like like after pro like like program will be like at ten. I wake up like at eleven, which is like slam back hours. Yeah, you know. So I wake up at eleven. I roll my mat up, brush my teeth, do my hair, lay in bed, read my book. Count time is like at two thirty. So like at two thirty after that, they open day room. I'm working out. Mm, shower, at three. yeah. Okay. Shower, wash my clothes, go back, read my book, chill. You know, I'm just chilling. And then at night, like after chow, chow's like at five, I think. Yeah. Like at seven, the open day room, I'm working out again. You feel me? Shower, and then I'm back to reading my book. And then on the weekend, I'm just chilling. What was uh, what was your workout routine? Like burpees, Navy Seals, Jaguars, uh, like the toe touches and shit yeah. like that. I was doing a lot of shit. I was just trying to show niggas that I could hang too. Yeah. Like, I'm fucking Gotta up. get your wind up. Yeah. And, so and yeah, shit. I was doing that a lot. Yeah. Um, push ups, a hell of push ups. Like, How many push ups could you do now? Well, I could do like at least a thousand now. Like, like a thousand? Just, yeah, like in the hour, just taking breaks and shit. Going God. Like, <laughs> oh, going shit. In, like, just getting in. And I'm just like, damn, I surprised myself because back then I couldn't even do one. 
Yeah. You know, but now this time I'm like just taking my shit, like breathing. Hell yeah. You know, I control my breathing this time. Like, yeah. I feel great. You know? That's great. Uh, you got some new ink too. Talk mm-hmm. about <laughs> talk about the how my part. Lip? Yeah. Yeah. Talk about. I never. I don't. I mean, not that I've never seen that. I just haven't seen that in a very long time. Well, nigga, niggas ain't got to ask. You feel me? <laughs> like, oh shit. Okay. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, that's it. <laughs> I remember I saw. Uh, I was supposed to been get it, but it's just I, like I bitched out. I was like, no, that shit gonna hurt. But I got it. Did pick. it hurt? Did it I hurt? I got it picked. Uh, I mean, I didn't even move at all. I didn't move For at how all. Long? Like, how long? How long did it like, take? Like six hours. Ah. Just chilling right there, like. Oh. <laughs> like I'm like, fuck, bro. <laughs> after that shit was done, I was like, damn. You know, in the middle of it, I took a break. I smoked some wax, and then I went back to it. And then like at the P right here. That's when it started hurting even more. Uh, I'm like, damn, I should have never smoked, bro. Like, fuck. Oh. That shit just like, ah, oh, bro. That shit feels so fucking horrible. <laughs> but then he finished, and when he finished, I said, it's good. I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> uh, while, while you were locked up, were you recording? I mean, sorry, not recording any music. Writing any music? This, this term I was. Yeah. This term I was. I came home ready. Yeah. You know? Were, is there any, like, I mean, because... Last time you got out, it was a lot of just, like, things you have to get off your chest. Mm-hmm. I feel like because, obviously, like, your life had changed a lot in the four years you were locked up. Yeah. What what type of songs, what type of music were you writing while you were in there this time? Just, like, I was trying to get back to the cocky self of my, like, that I was back then. Mm. You know, like, when I was dropping Northside Baby and shit like that, I was cocky as fuck. Yeah. You know? So this time I was like, man... Like, I would hear everybody this time, man. I keep hearing about this person, that person. I'm like, man, I'm way harder. Yeah. Like, I'm, 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 they ain't fucking with me. Yeah. So I'm like, you know what? Like, like there was this one time, bro, I was high as fuck. I was on my rack. And I was like, damn, I'm really Chito Ramos. Like, yeah. Nigga, like, you're Chito, bro. There's what only the one Chito in your hand. There's only one. Yeah. Like, that's crazy. I'm like, bro, you really him. And it's just like crazy, like my background and everything that I've done, and like everything. I'm just like, damn, bro, you really am. Like, chill. You know, like now, you got an opportunity, take it. Like, I would talk to myself. You know, like conversations with myself. You know, like, damn, bro, like you're meant for greatness, bro. Like, like, the fuck? Like, you got kids, bro. Like, change. Yeah. Change, nigga. Like, this is bullshit. Like, I was blessed just, even, just to even get 16 with half. You yeah. Know? Yeah. Like, they were trying to give me six years and shit, bro. Like, like damn, nigga, what, for a gun? Yeah. Like, fuck. But that's my dumbass fault. Like, I should have never had that, you know? Yeah. But it is what it is. It's just, like, it's just lessons. For sure. Huh? Um, I know that there was there was times in there where, like, during your term that you kind of just felt like saying, fuck all this rap Lost. shit. Lost, yeah. Tell me about that, I those moments. I like neglected type shit, yeah. you know? Because when I first went in, yeah, everybody was there. Yeah. And then, like, towards the middle of my sentence and shit, it's like, there's only, like, I count, like, a few people in my hand that were really there. Yeah. You know, so I was just like, damn, bro, like. Start to feel lonely. they don't give a fuck about me, man. I'm like, you know what, fuck it, bro. If they don't give a fuck about you, you got to give a fuck about yourself. Yeah. So that's when I said, fuck it. Yeah. You know? I started doing things from prison to set my life out here while I was in there. So when I came home, I ain't gotta ask the label for this. I ain't gotta ask the label for that. The yeah. label gonna be like, what the fuck, damn, he's ready. Yeah. Who buys a house from prison? Who? Chito. Exactly. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. But I just bought a Hellcat from prison too. That's, that's a week amazing. before my release. And you, and you said you didn't even know you were coming home. I didn't even know. I bought it before I got hit with a retainer, detainer. Wow. Yeah, I was like, damn, bro. It's positive thinking right there. That that's that's hopeful, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like it's just motivation. Hoping for the best. And then it's like, oh shit. I was like, man, but my stupid ass knew that, like, damn, bro, you might go back to sack. <laughs> yeah. I, but you're the risk you took. like you yeah. mean me. I'm like, like fucking terco as fuck. I'm like, bro, nah, nigga, you, you gonna go home. Yeah. Fuck. They were like, bro, you speaking to into existence. I was like, damn, I was like, I don't even think I could. That's a funny, funny thing I, I've noticed like about you is like Stubborn, for sure. Hell yeah, you but know me. I know you, but it's 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 a funny thing is that like it can work in your favor sometimes too. It always works in my favor though. Isn't that crazy? Siempre. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> no matter what I do, bro, it's always like 
Cheeto always comes out on top. You stand on it. Yeah. I feel that. You know? Yeah. Like, like I could jump, nigga, I'm going to land on my feet. <laughs> yeah. You feel me? Yeah, like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, it's crazy. Like, it's crazy. I do, like, the most dumbest shit, but it ends up working. Yeah. You feel me? No, I've, I've, yeah, I've, I've noticed. Even, like, uh, I remember we were um, in the studio last time you were recording. First day out, you were recording all the smoke. Yeah. And I'm like, damn. It's kind of things you're saying. I'm like, it's kind of wild. Yeah. And then it gets like a million views in like, I don't know, what, a week? Yeah, or two? she's like, I love talking <laughs> Just shit, like, though. I'm like, I'm thinking, I'm like, in my mind, I'm like, oh, I don't know. If I like, know when I, when I recorded it, everybody was like, God damn, we were, bro, we were like, is that what you do? Is that how you feel right now? Like, Chito, you okay? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, literally, <laughs> literally. <laughs> they were like, Chito, you okay? And, like, and, yeah. then, and then I'm just like, and you're like, this is the one I, this is the one I want to shoot. You shot the video like immediately. Right away. And then, right. and then it, it goes out and now it's, it's a... Uh, it, it. Oh, okay. And then, uh, and then it, it goes out and it does, it does numbers. It's crazy. Yeah. It doesn't stop. Then, then the whole, you know, kind of just Chito storyline starts getting built on the internet, and then just all these YouTubers pop up and start making, start making all Chito content, and everything yeah, is revolving yeah, around Chito. Crazy. What did Chito do? What did yeah. he, what did he say next? What's his song? I, about? I had everybody wondering, like, what the yeah. fuck was going on with him? Yeah. You know? Like I started dropping all these songs and like, who are you talking about? Yeah, you know I had motherfuckers doing their homework. Hundred percent. It's just like, like they were writing about you while you were locked up too. Yeah, you saw that? No. Uh, the uh, Passion Wise. Who said that? Who's, who's that? Uh, it's it's uh the homie Jeff. He runs a blog. I don't know if you've seen. Nah, nah. They were well, yeah. Pops, they, I really don't know much. You know. So yeah. What they nah, say? they were just. It was just you know just going into like. You know, just who Chito is. You know, just yeah. kind of like putting people onto the. You know, because the homie is like more of a like he's a journalist. He has all the people that follow him are journalists. Simo. It's more like you know just catering to the hipsters a little bit. You know, and it's <laughs> like people are getting it. You know, yeah. I, I would go out and people would be like, "Yo, bro, Chito's hard." Yeah. You know, like when's he coming home? And then we also kind of kept it how like people didn't know if you were in or out. Yeah, everybody was like, "What the fuck was happening?" Is he in or is he out? Is he, yeah. you know what I'm saying? And it's like, then you're posting, or I mean, it wasn't you, but you know what I'm saying? It's like I just didn't want nobody to find out because it's like that's just embarrassing, bro. You know, like you go yeah. back to jail after like a month. Yeah. What the fuck? What What was that kind of? I don't know if you can. I mean, obviously we could edit whatever out, but so like you, I think it's you were taking some time off, right? You literally took the weekend off. After yeah, after nah, work yeah, after I working nonstop thirty days recorded like three albums. What? And then I hear that like oh Chito's gonna like go on vacation. Go on a little vacation. And that same day I got locked up. Yeah, just t tell me about that. Tell me like just kind of that whole process and like you know just like what happened. I just got pulled over. I was in the car. And, yeah, you know like. And it's it's tricky because it's like like you how you just said like I'm Chito, it's like other people know you're Chito too, and it's like they're driving the cops are driving like that looks like Chito. Yeah, you gotta so pull them over. That's exactly what it was. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like that's exactly so, what it's it was. tricky. It's tricky because it they're, it's unmistakable. You know, mm -hmm. um, so that happens kind of like we're not sure if, if you're going to go in. Do, do you immediately know, like, oh, man, I'm going to be I'm gonna be locked up for a minute? Or you kind of... Well, like, like, when I'm in the court, like... Yeah. Minute, yeah. You had the feeling? Yeah, because, like, they, they're going to run my name. They're going to run everything. So yeah. I gave him a fake name. <laughs> I swear to God. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody can find me, nigga. So I'm just going to find me and this shit. <laughs> like, nigga, what's next? I'm like, I'm under Fidel. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I was Fidel Mata Garcia, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> it's sad. And then he's like, hey, they're hella hot at the station. They're like, are you sure you're not popping up? Like, I'm a Paisa, bro. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm not born here, nigga. Like, oh, oh, <laughs> you went that far? <laughs> he's like, oh, you look like you from Hoover. Like, nah, bro. Like, I'm not oh, even yeah. from here, nigga. I'm from, <laughs> I'm from up north. They're like, 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 he's all like, like, what's the age for it? Like, uh, I just like the Astros, you know? Like, like, <laughs> like, <man>. Yeah, right. <laughs> I think it was tripping. <laughs> Wait, it is what it is. It was, like, it was in what, Redondo like, Beach? the car. Yeah, Redondo Beach. So while he was searching the car, I was in the back seat, and this nigga pulled out a fucking bulletproof vest, and I was like, what the fuck? I forgot about that. 
Like, I forgot I had a vest in the car and everything. Like, Damn. It was just bad, bro. Yeah. Bad. But it is what it is, you know? Yeah. I was trying to take him on a high speed and shit, but <laughs> it didn't work out. Things things to not do in your Hellcat. That's one. Just so you know. Nigga, no, I got a Hellcat. I know. Don't, just don't try it. Just... <laughs> Well, nah, bro. Like, they still gonna find me. Like, what the fuck? Like, regardless. Like, my PO gonna be looking like, why is this motherfucker going like this? You know, like, like, like my PO cool as fuck, though, too. That's like, good. He's cool as fuck. That's like, good. Like, that's the one thing about my POs right now. Like, I got two POs. Like, they, they want me to succeed. Yeah. You know, like, they want me to, like, to be like, 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 like. They told me straight up, man, we want you to get money. Yeah. Yeah. Because they went to the house before I came home. They went to the house. They're like, man, we, we gotta take this address out. Yeah. They saw the house. I'm like, damn, that's you? I was like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when I was in prison, I had a video call with my, with my PO. And I'm like, yeah, that's me. <laughs> that's fire. But it's, it's the thing. It's like you, you're, you're going to be, I mean, you're, you already are like a success story. You know that like a lot of people, you know, would have counted you out. You know, you, you did a majority Everybody of like. Everybody counted me out. Bro. Since 2020, for the most part, you, you've been locked up, right? Yeah, like, my team, they're the only ones that never, that never fucking gave up on me. You know? And. It's like you you've made it through. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? You you made it through. You you bought a house, you bought a car, like and those are like material things, but it's those are just stepping stones to it's like just overall. You know how it feels parking your own car in your own garage. Yeah. You know that feeling. Yeah. I never had that till I came home that same day from prison. Wow. I was like, damn. Yeah. This how it feels. What? Yeah. I got an office in there. I built it that same day, went to Best Buy, bought hella fucking TVs. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God, I went with Zay, I went with Jay Free, I went with Slash Jr. Yeah, had to get like, them bro, TVs. What? Who TVs. What kind of TV were? Do you did you get to watch TV in there, or no? Not really. I was always reading. Mm. That's one thing. Like when I can find a good book, I'm always stuck on that. What What are some books that you read while you were locked up? The Genghis Khan. Genghis Khan. Genghis Khan. Uh, he had like a thousand children, right? Yeah, that nigga crazy. <laughs> that crazy. What else? I read. Family business, I read a bunch of shit. It's like a bunch of shit. Yeah. Yeah, like I just like reading and shit. Like that's just like peaceful. Yeah. Like it just puts me in a different you know. Do you do you feel like that's um that contributes to like the reason you're able to like rap so good and like you know, have a lot of word play and shit like that? Yeah. I think that's really it. That's yeah. like one thing that really made it, like, you know, like I was like, I, I read books fast, you know? Yeah. And I work fast. I don't know if Solis told you, but, like, I work fast. I, I've I've seen you in the booth, like, you know? One take, like, yeah. type shit, you know? If I don't Multiple like it, flows. Like, and let's say, like, if I'm feeling lazy and shit, I just give you, like, a lazy flow. Just test that shit out, like, last time. Yeah. I gave Zay a lazy flow. Just yeah. Like, we'll just, you know, just test out the mic. Yeah. You know? But when I'm, like, in go mode, like, bro, like, I work. Oh, yeah, I'm in there. Talk to me about you know, you've been out for a couple of days, um, but you haven't really like recorded any music. Tell me, like, what? I've been lazy, bro. Is it just lazy? Is yeah. it no? It, it, I mean, I know you're yeah, saying lazy, never but had a chance to be lazy. I was about to say, I think it's, it's being lazy is, is a little too like not not giving yourself enough credit yeah, in a way because it, it's more so like it's it's okay to chill, and it's like it's also uh, it's an, a readjustment period. You know what I'm saying? You were just in one place for, you know, months at a time in a little tiny thing. And now you could walk outside. You could jump in the pool if you wanted. Now, yep. You know what I'm saying? You could take your car for a spin type shit. Like, I don't even like driving. <laughs> I, mean, I just bought it just to shit. You know, just to shit yeah. <laughs> Why don't you like driving? I hate it, bro. It's Boy, I get tired. I just like, if I want to sleep, I learn to drive. I'm just like, you know. Like, <laughs> you like to be driven around? Yeah. Okay. I That's like being pampered. <laughs> <laughs> I like just, I like being just chill. And, you know, like I don't like driving. Yeah. You know, I don't really like. I don't even know how to drive like that. I drive good now. You know, but <laughs> like every car I ever had, I crashed it. For real? Yeah, every car. Do you do you feel like you just don't have enough practice, or why, or like you drive too fast? Or nah, what I be it? too high when I drive. Mm, yeah. That'll do it. I'll be slow once that- I, when I was driving my truck. And I, sl- I, just, I literally fell asleep and I ran off the freeway. Oh, bro, you gotta field. be careful. Yeah, yeah maybe maybe you shouldn't drive. Mm-mm. Yeah. Mm-mm. <laughs> Junior's driving, huh, yeah. All right, yeah. He looks like he could fucking drive the shit out of a car. What? He's a mechanic. <laughs> yeah. That's my mechanic, my blood rubber, my everything. You know? Um, 
So you haven't recorded much music. Uh, is there anything though that like, or any like songs that you wrote that you're like really once you kind of unwind and, and you know, yeah. um, get all that over with? Is there one song or something that you want to really record, or, or is there anything in particular you want to talk about? In a record. I mean, every every record I drop is like I want to talk about it. You know, every yeah. record I drop, I want to talk about something. Yeah. You know, so just like, you just got to hear the song, bro. Like, whatever I drop, just hear yeah. it and just listen to my shit. Because I haven't really heard no love songs besides the one, that one I made you make. Yeah, <laughs> you made me make that shit. <laughs> that shit's hard. Like, you see, you can't say I don't do nothing for you because, yeah. like, you nigga, I fucking love you, bro. <laughs> yeah. You know, like, I'll do it, you yeah. know? But is there any is there any more music like that coming? Because you killed it, is that people haven't really heard yeah. that side of you? I ain't gonna lie, there's like one more song. Yeah, but like that's not really like my shit. I know. I do it just because I'll be like, I need it, I need it, I need to do it. Yeah, you know? and it's fun. But yeah, it's just like like it's not really like. Are we gonna? Mm. I guess what I'm asking is, like, are we gonna hear more? Like, I mean, you you've talked a lot about like you know, friends and, and people that have passed, but are, are we going to hear other other themes like, uh, you know, maybe talking about your family, family history, maybe uh, a little more, um, I don't know, like songs for the kids or like, you know, just different like kind of viewpoints and angles. <laughs> I, I just shit. I'm just thinking. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, know, like, I know what you mean, but I never thought about that. Yeah. I'm going to keep it 100. I'm just going to be like, bro, I'm just going to rip this beat. Yeah. That's it. I don't yeah. think about like, well, man, the, I should, the concept. I should, yeah, I should do this or like, yeah. like I'll just be like, fuck it, I'm myself. I love myself. So this yeah. is what I'm gonna do. And this is what the fuck I'm gonna do. Yeah. You know? Cause, cause me as like, I just know your rap skill is up here, and if you put your mind to it, you could like make the fuck out of a song like that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I, I'm curious to hear like, I'm like, I want to hear what it sound like. Yeah. Type okay. shit. No, hell yeah, I can. Yeah. No, I can. If I really put my mind to it, I could do it. Yeah, or like some storytelling and shit. Like, yeah. yeah. I'm Maybe, curious. I'm yeah, curious yeah, to hear. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Know, now you say it, man. Yeah. I will. You know, like, yeah. I will do it. You know, it doesn't hurt to try. Yeah. You feel me? Maybe I'll fuck it up, you know? <laughs> maybe I'll just fuck it up. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> maybe, maybe it'll fucking go viral. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Hopefully. <you know? laughs> um, now, I probably know the answer to this question, but I'm going to ask it. Is there anybody you want to work with that you've, you usually don't do a lot of features, a lot of songs with people. Nah, nah. I, I I feel like all the people that you like are probably mostly in this room right now. They're probably missing a couple. Yeah, just, <laughs> you can miss just a few, you know, but... Soul, you know, yeah. you know a couple I people. got Big Swift right here. Like, yeah. I just shot a video with brother right now, you yeah. know, it's like, I'm with him. Yeah, is, like, there, any, is there any other KB, artists? my little brother KB. Yep. You feel me? I'm working with him. Like, I'm just more worried about bringing up my brand right now. You know, I'm working with OJ The Sickest, too. Okay. You know, he's cool as fuck. Yeah. You feel me? Like... It's just, hold on. It's just like, like uh, there's not a lot of people I really want to work with. Right yeah, now, you know. I mean, I, I know how you are. It's because like, like everybody got their shine right now, no? So let me yeah. get my little shine too. Now, yeah. You know? Like let me. Let I me. know that the the people want to know. You know what I'm saying? I know it's like oh, because people. I'll tell you like from a rap fan's perspective, it's like we we put songs together in our head, damn near like oh shit, imagine Cheeto with so and so and da da da, and it's like. People want to hear that, but they don't. They be trying understand. to force verses. They be trying to force features on me like that. Exactly. But it's like, nah, nah, exactly. It's not working it's, like it's that. It's like yeah. And that's one thing. Like back then, I was like, I would be like, be like, okay, yeah, fuck it. You know, back yeah. then, you know, I, you know, I will. Yeah. Like, fuck it, I'll do it. Mm -hmm. I'll do it. Yeah. But this time, I came home. No, like I'm gonna do me. I'm gonna do this. What this? What the fuck? I'm gonna do, and this is how it's gonna be. Yeah. If you don't like it, you don't like it. You yeah. know. But if you do, respect my work, and then let's get it cracking. Yeah. Like y'all trust me for my my work ethic and my talent, right? Yeah. So. Let me do what I want to do, and let's get it. Yep. You feel me? That's all it is to me right now. It's like, I don't want to work with nobody, but just like, like the, like you said, like the people I really like, I, I love and I fuck with is right here. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Like Zay makes my beats, South Treasy makes my beats, yep. Taiwan, Matt Briggs. Yeah. You know, they make my beats. Fucking, I got songs with Big Swift. I got songs with Cowboy. Yeah. You feel me? Like, that's all I'm focused on, worried about. Like, okay, let me bring myself up real quick. Yeah. Facts. You feel me? Um, another thing I gotta ask you. I don't know if you've seen, but there's a couple people trying to do the, your whole shit. It's like a whole shit what? to a T. 
there's 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 a rapper I heard that tried to do your whole exact flow, whole exact. Oh, we talking about the same nigga? <laughs> Palabra. I'm 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 curious. Yeah, I don't know if you. What, what's your reaction oh, to that? Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. yeah. That nigga weird. <laughs> Yeah, homie, that nigga weird. <laughs> I, it was so like, the comments roasted him enough, bro. Like, it's if you just look at the comments on his own page, everybody's like, he deletes it. Want to sound like Chito? Why are you trying to be Chito? Motherfuckers riding a horse. There's a lot of crazy shit going on. My son, you know what I'm saying? I inspired him. <laughs> I inspired him. You feel me? I inspired him. Yeah. You know, like, like, like that's my kid. <laughs> You know, <laughs> that's my kid. Like, what you want me to say, brother? Like, like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yeah. So he's he's kind of more of like I would say like a contemporary because like you guys have been putting music out maybe around the same amount of time, right? Mm -hmm. But if if there's like a younger artist, like let's say like a 16 year old artist, super inspired, said, "Man, I grew up listening to Chito." How would how would you feel about that? And it, it's all respect. Honored. It's all you know. Yeah. Honored. I feel yeah. honored. Be like, okay. Yeah. Like, that's how I feel regardless. Like, it's like, yeah. okay, this motherfucker's just trying to be me. Like, <laughs> like, okay. They know who the founding father is, though, you know? <laughs> the founding father, yeah. Palabra, you know? <laughs> um, so we, uh, I know we, we have a project that, uh... So um, I know we have a project that that we had recorded, um, you know, prior to you going in. You did like like I said, like two three projects while while you were um, out. And we have one still that hasn't been released. Can you tell me about about that that album and like what you know? From from what I know, it was Hood Rich Hector. Yeah, that's that's the album that it's I'm still, dropping still right gonna, now. Yeah. yeah. Tell me about tell me about that. Tell me about just like what what we can expect. What the fans are gonna hear. He's gonna hear some hard shit, like on that one. That's not that's that album is like the one that I'm focused on right now. But there's yeah. like an album that I'm that, that's like that I really really want to drop. Yeah. Like right after this one, I'm gonna drop like one that really means a lot to me. Yeah. You know. So that's the whole goal. That's why I really want to drop this project ASAP, so I could get to this one. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's why I'm on. It's like I always do that. Like when I'm on to the next one, I write. I really want to get. When I'm done, I just want to get on to the next. Well, yeah, because you you kind of yeah. everything you have to get off your chest, it's off, mm -hmm. right? Um, but back to Hood Rich Hector. Tell me about the title. Like what the, the meaning behind it? Like why, why that? I got rich in the hood. You feel me? Like like I got rich in the hood and I made it out the hood. Like you feel me? Like hood yeah. rich. You feel me? Like I'm finally rich. Yeah. You know. How does how does that how does that feel like? <laughs> that feels nice. Yeah, it feels real nice. Yeah, cause I mean like, you know, it's a certain thing to like you know have some money rolling in, you know, have your have your little jugs and all yeah. that, and and you know be be living, you know. But now it's like there's there's an abundance and there's you know you, yeah. you have access and st just tell me about like how you can how, like what's adjusting to that like. Hmm. Cause like you said, you went and bought a bunch of TVs. It's like, <laughs> it's just like. Do you damn. have to like now kind of like calm yourself down? And be like, hold on, hold on, hold on, Chito. Yeah, cause they make me. You know? but if, like, <laughs> if it was really wanted to, I could just do what the fuck I want. You know, like, <laughs> but sometimes I try to catch myself. Like, damn. Like maybe I am wilding a little too much with the money. You know, like, <laughs> let me kick it. <laughs> I just bought hella jewelry the other day too. It's like I was waiting on that. I was like, damn. <laughs> What'd you get? I got a, a ring, my grill. Uh, you know, I got some other special things. <laughs> my bracelet. Fire. I got a bracelet that says Kermit. <laughs> ah, that's fire. I got a pink ring that says Mala. That's hard. Solis got me a chain that says Mala on it. Fire. Talk to me about Mala. Mala. That's just like my clique. That's my, that's my group. That's my, my brothers. Yeah. You feel me? It's like all of us and shit, but it's just like only there's like just me and KB, the rappers. Yeah. You know, but it's, yeah, everybody, nigga, like here, you know? Yeah. Just talk to me about like the movement. Mm -hmm, like, mm -hmm. I know you're releasing merch. Yeah, just we're just else? trying to do that now. Like, 
mala just means malandro. Malandro means like thug in Spanish. Yeah. You know? So when we started that, it was me and Holly. And we went up with it. And then we started putting on my little brothers and shit. So now everybody mala, you know? Yeah. Everybody's mala. But it's just like, there's only two rappers now. Yeah. You know, it's just me and KB. You feel me? So it's just like, damn. Yeah. So, like, there's, there, yeah, I would like to sign other people later on, but it's just like, I got to know him. Right now, yeah, of course. Yeah, like right now, like, my eyes on, like, OJ. You feel me? Like, mm. Cause it's like, I know his brother and shit. Mm. You know, like, Free Little Sick, you know? Yeah. I know him. So it's just like, just because it's off of that, like, like, like he's the boy. And then yesterday, I was kicking in with him all night, writing music, actually, and he's hard. So, so I was like, fuck, like, maybe, like, he would get a little be a good little addition, you know? Yeah. Um, you know, now, like, with, with you, like, coming home and, you know, obviously having, having the crib, the car, like, um, did, did, like, what, what, like, did you think, like, man, what would Holly think right now? Did it cross your mind? Every day. Yeah. Every day when I got the Hellcat and I was coming home from the pen, I was like, damn, I wonder what he would say right now. What, what do you think he would say? Congratulations, you know. I made it, you know. Like yeah. I did it. I mean, that's the whole goal in the first place. I used to buy a house, and live yeah. Home. I did. That. Get out the bullshit. I did that. Yeah. So I'm away from all that shit now, right? Yeah. So it's just like I'm cool. You yeah. Know? Um. What I love is that like you want to be away from the shit now, you know, and it's like it, it gets hard to, you know. At a point, it's like that. That sometimes can be the hardest part of getting the artist out the the environment that that grew them, that yeah. you know they were influenced by, and everything. And it's to to try to like get them to understand like you got all the inspiration you need from there. Like now you got to experience different shit. You know, like yeah. what what are some things you want to experience now? I I want to go camping type shit. Yeah. Never been camping. <laughs> That's fire. That's some like regular shit. I've never been a Duno. I've never been a fucking, uh, 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 I've never been to Disneyland. Uh, I've never been to Universal Studios. I've never been nowhere, bro. Yeah. I've never been nowhere. I barely left Sacramento. Yeah. Before I got locked up last time, last time, last time. Yeah. I've never left Sac. I barely started. You know? <clears throat> so that's what's like. It's just like, I want to experience some new shit. Like, I want to have another baby. You know? Like, like that yeah real yeah. life shit yeah yeah i don't want to miss out this time yeah um so you said you want to experience like going to disneyland universal yeah. studios yeah. um and like just other like different types of family shit um one thing that where before you you got locked up you didn't we asked you and you didn't want to do it is shows mm -hmm. you didn't want to perform do you still feel that way yeah it's, it's not for you? It's like a... Nah. It's not for me. Like, I'm yeah. just, I got stage fright and shit, you know? Mm -hmm. So it's not really for me. It can... Like, it'll go away. You know what I'm saying? But I understand the the uh, the hesitation. Um, Me, personally, like, I've done, like, a live podcast where same thing, we have to go on stage in front of, you know, a thousand people or whatever. And it's, it's crazy. Like, it's like, what the fuck? All these people are here for me. They're looking at me. So, so it is a lot of pressure, but after the third, fourth time, it, it feels it feels hella normal. It, it, it's like a yeah, cause like I ain't gonna lie, like yesterday, and I was driving in my in my car, mm -hmm. I was turning on the radio and shit, and I swear to God, you on the radio, huh? Yeah, I'm on the radio. I heard you, nigga. And I was like, <laughs> hey, I told Junior, like, hey, that's my boy. Isn't it? <laughs> I swear, and I heard you on the radio. And I'm yeah, like, that's crazy. Like, this nigga yeah. on the radio, too. I didn't know. I'm ignorant. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't even know much like that. <laughs> nah, facts. So it's like, I wonder how you deal with it. You know? Like, yeah. I, know, I know you deal with it. Like, damn, you're real scratch big. You know? Like, yeah. for sure. No, yeah, it happens for sure. It, uh, you know, it, it's always it's always dope because it's at the end of the day, they're just recognizing the work that you put in. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, they don't know me because... Like I went viral or something. It's, they just know me because I just fucking you came up, do my job, and do I do it, I do, do it well thing. type yeah. shit. You know, do it good. Um, how do you deal with it? 
before you you uh it's a little uncomfortable in the beginning yeah before you got locked up you you started to get recognized it still feels that way you know yeah last time have you been recognized like yeah we were at best buy oh i got recognized by this tiktoker (laughs) and his girl yeah what what are their names for like like junior jack junior jack junior esmond let me see the phone brother look look through it just to make sure because i ain't trying to get it fucked up yeah Wow. Yeah, so I was like, what? Like, they recognized me, and I was high as fuck. <laughs> you know, like, I just came home, bro. Like, I still ain't had to check in, so I'm just like, I'm chilling. Yeah. And then I go, and then it's just like, like, he, they, he got up to my manager. He's like, hey, is that your throw runner? He's like, yeah. And he's like, hey, can we take a picture? And I'm yeah. Like, hey, yeah. I'm not tripping this <laughs> one. I didn't know who it was, though. Yeah. But then I seen him, and then, then, then. I checked my DM and I seen him. They're like, oh, you, you that I seen your shit before. Yeah. I was like, what the fuck? I was in prison. I, I used to look at this nigga shit before. I was like, what the <laughs> fuck? You nigga funny as hell. That's, That's dope. That's him. Yeah. You know? That's dope as fuck. Mm-hmm. That shit crazy, you know, like. Yeah. I remember you telling me, tell me the story about uh, you uh, You went to your, was it your stepdaughter's school? Mm-hmm. And then it was like, you got recognized and they like, you had to like leave. I got leave. kicked out of school. <laughs> oh. I got kicked out of school. <laughs> <laughs> I was smoking. Like, <laughs> She's like, you can't do that here. I'm like, bitch, you hitting the pen. What you mean? <laughs> she had a vape. <laughs> yeah, she was like, oh, you gotta get up off the premises. I was like, man, I'm leaving there. <laughs> I'm, I'm gone. <laughs> and I felt so bad. I was like, hey, baby, I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> so like it's okay. I was like, damn. That but that that's like a real thing that, that you, yeah, you probably have to deal with. Like, trying to take pictures with me and everything though too. They're too famous like, for the parent teacher conference yeah. or the school plays type shit. hmm Um one other story I wanted you to tell was um so uh you got signed to, you know, uh Signal slash Columbia slash Sony. You know, obviously uh you know you're with OTR as well. Tell me about how you decided on signing with with Jeff over at Signal and what what you made him do <laughs> in order to in order to lock it in so the only reason why I signed to him was oh, was mostly for Solis like the reason why I signed to him was like yeah. for Solis yeah cuz I seen Solis. him and then he's like he he's cool he's cool as fuck yeah, he's shout like to Jeff. I seen him and he's like super white yeah you know but yeah. he's cool as fuck Fuck, bro. Yeah, he's a cool dude. Like he's feed man. Yeah. You know, but then I'm on the blunt, I'm smoking it. And I'm like staring at it. Bro. I'm like, and he's just like, like, he's like, give me this look, look. Hold on. <laughs> and I was looking at him and I was like, you smoke? <laughs> he's like, uh, I used to like back then, back yeah. then. You know? like, In like, college. Like, like, <laughs> Like, you know you're gonna have to hit this, right? <laughs> like, you want me to you sign to you? You told him just like that, all serious. I was like, you know, like, you want me to sign to you? You want me to sign to you, nigga? Like, like, how bad do you want me to sign to bad. you? <laughs> you know? Yeah. Made me feel special. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so he's like, like, all right. And he's like, <laughs> like. <laughs> Like, damn, nigga. <laughs> I mean, everybody hit that shit. Everybody around me, like, if you don't do drugs with me, I can't trust you. <laughs> See, you don't know. Swift. Junior. Right? Am I right? Yeah. You made me dab, huh? Yeah, you made me dab, but I never took a dab like that. I was, like, high as fuck that day. I'm like... I had an AK on my laptop, I was like <laughs> the cuerno de chivo. I remember that. Me and Holly, me and Holly walked in that day with the studio with Swift. This first day Swift met me. We had a, uh, I had, I had an AK and, I, and Holly had an AR. Wow. And we just walked in. <laughs> and he was like, at the studio in Paramount. Swift was like, who is this? <laughs> at the Z room, right? Yeah, yeah. 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 Who are these niggas? <laughs> and Quick was like, oh, that's Chico. <laughs> And that shit, no, it's normal to me, bro. I'm rocking in with yeah. a fat ass blitz. I don't care. And me, I don't know, something about me, I'm hella exaggerated, bro. I can't have just like a normal black. I'm, I'm walking with Draco. <laughs> <laughs> I'm walking with AK, nigga. Yeah. Like, like, who, who playing with me, nigga? Yeah. <laughs> you know, like, like try me. 
<laughs> so I, I like, so I had that shit, and then Swift was like, <laughs> "Like you serious, nigga?" And that's the first. What you say? And then the first thing that you said in the booth, I got the, I got the AR. My brother got the AK. And I'm like, this nigga, like, what the fuck? He's like this nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Big Sweep was like <laughs> Then one time when I came home huh, nigga, I was wild nigga. I, I, I was like I just kicked the door like, <laughs> Give me what you got This nigga's like Oh shit I'm like nah, let's play, nigga, what's up? Really? It's like Oh this shit nigga, like, <laughs> That's my nigga right here bro. Like, bro that's comedy That's when we made that song Yeah That's when we made the song I yeah. was just like oh, Bro I was geeking Bro I was in here Like I was in the, I was in the back end I was in the money room I was in Yeah I was, I was everywhere bro. I was like man I was just excited Yeah I was like a kid in the fucking Like like in the toy store Yeah that, that's what I, I loved about the The time that you were out Is that the the studio hadn't felt that energy like ever. Uh -uh. You know that that studio's brand like for real? pretty they pretty felt new. That? No, bro. Ever since, like it's like you were bouncing from one room to the next. You're ordering pizza. You're shooting music videos. You're having sessions. You got all your homies there. Like it was just like a lot of I was energy. Thick as hell there, huh? Yeah. Like everybody. Here. And so it was. It was like this this, this energy of like you didn't want to leave the studio because you might miss something. You know what I'm saying? Um. And also, uh, we we might we might cut this, but I'm curious what why or like how did you get? Um, Cause you're like you're like a gun fanatic, right? Like, Fuck yeah, yeah. I how love, did, it's cause of my grandpa too. It's cause okay, that's what I kind of want to know. I, I I figured it was like some family shit, cause it's like like my you dad, said like my grandpa, you know, like you're a little paisa, you know what I'm saying? Mm. At, at sometimes, <laughs> at, at times, yeah. like you know what I'm saying. So it's like that's why I, I just started my culture, you know. And then the thing about it is, like my dad, my grandpa. Yeah. When I was a little ass boy. Like. When I was a little ass boy. Yeah. My dad, like my grandpa, actually, like like he, my uncles too. They would buy me like toy guns and shit, and like, like put them in my diaper and shit. Like it was a whole yeah. shit. I'd be walking around with a gun and shit. Yeah. I had the little popper. You know, like like I was just like grew up like that. Yeah. And then when my grandpa taught me, like taught me, well, my dad actually he taught me how to shoot. I was like, damn, like. This shit's fun. Yeah. You know? I, I was just like, I was always a kid, bro, with a gun too. Like, I was always wishing the nigga would, you know? Like, yeah. Like, I would wish him would. And it's, it's a little different. I mean, from my perspective, I think it's a little different for y'all, like, more up north. It's more normal than it yeah. is a little down here. Like, for, like, city kids, it's like, there's nowhere you can just go shoot a gun, like, for fun. You know what I'm saying? Mm. You can't go out to the woods. And no, we sliding. We just test it out. We sliding. <laughs> 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 but you know what I'm saying? It's like, up north, you can go to, like, there's a lot of, like, there's a lot of woods. There's a lot of, like, you know what I'm saying? The things that you can, like, no, so maybe some just go to the next block and <laughs> air a nigga out. You feel me? <laughs> it's never happened. It's never happened. It never happened. But, um... <laughs> Uh, I was a little as a kid. I was like my first gun. It was a it was a thirty eight special, mm. like a long one, like yeah, the, like the cowboy one. Yeah, I thought I was hard. <laughs> yeah. I thought you were a cowboy. What? <laughs> I got in trouble one time for bringing it to school too. You took it to I school? Ran, yeah, I ran across the field and I threw it. And I ran. In back. what? In high school? Yeah. No, no, no. In, in junior high. In junior yeah. high. And these motherfuckers were like, "What the fuck?" And then that's when I got like, I said, "Oh, maybe I'm not meant for school," you know? Like, yeah. I never went back either. Like, I'm cool. Yeah. You know? Like, I always knew, like, like I'm going to be somebody great. You feel me? I just, yeah. need to, I just need to really, like, like believe in myself. Yeah. Like, you apply yourself. Yeah. Yeah. But I was just like, like, man. That's the thing sometimes school doesn't get. It's like, man, like, Chito might not fucking do algebra, dog. But <laughs> I don't even know how the algebra is. <laughs> like, <laughs> but, but at the same time, it's like, doesn't mean he's not great. Doesn't mean he's not destined for greatness. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like in, you know, in another department, like, you know, he's he's a genius, you know? He's a bilingual superstar, like, you know what I'm, I'm saying? Just, I'm like, no lie, like, I'm, like, no, I'm an idiot. I ain't gonna cap it. Like, I really am. But I'm smart. You're smart, like, bro. Smart. Yeah, yeah. Like, I be doing smart shit. Yeah. You know? I do no, you're smart. smart. You could tell by, by your raps, by the way you carry yourself, the things you say. It's like, it's not, no, like. Yeah, like, I know how to carry myself when I first meet somebody. Like, yeah. I, know, I know, you know? Yeah. But. It's like when she gets to know me, you're gonna be like, oh, that nigga's dumb ass. Like, <laughs> it's just, I'm just like, I don't think it's that person. true. I don't think it's that. I think it's, it's literally that you're just a down ass fool. 
You know what I'm saying? Like, my it's socks like, high as fuck. Let's <laughs> <laughs> sock check, sock check, sock check. Nah, I ain't, nah don't do that right now. <laughs> I'm not really down right now. You know, uh, <laughs> I'm vibing right now. I'm chilling. You, know? you don't, don't want, gotta be right now. I don't want no smoke right now. Exactly. Right now. <laughs> like I just came home. <laughs> <laughs> there you have it. <laughs> Chito wears low socks. <laughs> Never. This is the first time I ever wear. I wear high socks. Like, you should see my other socks. Where are the socks at? They're just dirty right now. You know? Oh, shit, man. I gotta wash them when I take a shower. You know what I mean? <laughs> Bro, I'm so glad you're home. Mm. 100%. Me too. This is the last first day out interview you're ever gonna do because you're not going back in. <sighs> and I'm putting that All into right. existence. My dog. Chitoranas, Rosecrans Vic Podcast. We out.